Hi, welcome and thank you for joining me for class today. Today I have a challenging class for you. We will be using small weights. You can, of course, at any time drop the weights or even do the whole class without them. But if you do want an extra challenge, especially for your arms, then you will grab some small weights, roll out your mat and let's begin. Come to the front of your mat, seated, and make sure to place your weights on each side of your body like this so they are easily accessible to you. We will begin making C curves with our upper body. On the exhale, draw the navel to the spine and curve your back. Inhale to come up. Exhale, come back. Inhale to come up. So already here you can take the weights and just rest them on your legs. Inhale to come up. Three more. Exhale. Inhale, straighten. Two more. Last one. And come up. Let's engage the arms as well. Extending the front of the body. Exhale. Inhale, straighten the arms above the head. Five more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, curve, inhale, lift and extend. We have three more. Only one more. And let's stay here, lift one leg up and we'll do both together. So extend, place the foot down, other side, and bring the knee to the chest. Inhale to come up. Other leg, knee to chest, inhale, extend, exhale, knee to chest, inhale, come up, one more on each side, knee to chest, and extend, and knee to chest, and extend, let's come down again, bring both the knees in, for a little balance, <laughs> and now just switch the legs on the exhale, so, Try to keep your upper body still. Arms are parallel to the floor if you can. And we'll do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back, place your feet on the mat, extend up. And this time we'll roll all the way down to the floor, curving through your spine. And then extend the arms above the head on your inhale. Let me adjust on the mat. All right, lift the arms up. Exhale, reach up towards the ceiling and extend the back at the top. Again, exhale, curve the spine. Inhale to extend. And lift the arms up. Exhale, now reach up. And inhale at the top again. Exhale, curve the spine. Inhale, extend. Exhale, as you reach up towards the ceiling and full extension at the top. Let's do three more times, curving through that spine. And see here, you lift your chest up and reach for the sky. And exhale, curve. And extend. Last one. And this time just curve down to stay. And we'll stay with the arms extended above the head like so, but resting the arms on the floor. Bring the soles of your feet a bit closer to your pelvis. And we'll lift the hips up for one. And then lift the arms up here and reach up to the sky. Beautiful. Let the arms come down, excuse me. And then lift the hips up. And bring the arms up. And down. And hips up. And down. All right, so we lift up on the exhale. And exhale. And exhale, arms up, or chest up rather. 
We'll do three more. Two more. And last one. Now lift the hips up again. I'll just adjust on the mat if you have scooched too far up like I have. Lift the hips up again like so. Bring uh, one arm down to the side and you'll flip the palms facing up and just scissor your arms like so. So moving nice and slow. We're not flinging the arms around. And you can, for example, exhale here. Shh. Inhale up. Shh. Shh. Make sure that those hips are nice and high. Upper body is completely still, so try not to have a lot of movement to compensate. Shh. And let's do six more. Five, four, push the floor away. Three, and two, and one. Let the arms be up here to the sky, and then bring the hips down to the, to the mat. Just a little rest here before you bring them back up again. And we'll open up the knees and open the arms at the same time. Exhale together. Shh. Inhale, open. Exhale together, shh. inhale open, exhale together, shh. make sure not to rest your arms on the floor as you open, also push the floor away through the soles of your feet and your shoulders and your head, so you're not collapsing into your shoulders either. Shh. Ah, let's do six more, shh. hips are nice and high. We have four and three and two. Last one. All right, hips slowly come down to the floor as you lift your arms above the head. On the exhale, bring everything together. Inhale as you lower down and exhale. So we lower down for three and two. And one, exhale up, inhale, one, and two, and three, exhale up, down for one, and two, and three, exhale up, and one, and two, and three, exhale up. All right, four more times like this. Nice and slow on the way down, and explosive on the way up. Four. Three and up, three more, two, one and up, only two, three and up, last one, two, three and up. Let's stay here, just place the, ha the hands with the weights on your hips and pulse the hips up for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 13, now you got this, 10 more, 10, and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, roll down to the mat, alright beautiful, bring your arms down to the side, lift your chest up, and then bring your arms parallel to the floor. We'll swim down on the inhale and then exhale to swim back up. Five more. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. And we have three. And two. Last one. And we'll come up here to stay. Just flip the palms up and down and up and down. Eight, seven, excuse me, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Let's go back to that swimming, down on the inhale. Exhale to come back up, five. Moving nice and slow so we can really feel it in every bit of the abdomen and in the arms. And three. Two. Last one. Come up to stay. Let's lift the feet off the floor and switch them like we did before. Just switch and switch and switch and switch. Use that exhale to help you. Upper body is completely still. Arms parallel to the floor. Ten, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. And come down with the legs. Come down with the upper body. And just relax. You can let go of the weights for now. Just place them on each side of your body or the mat. Give yourself a little wiggle if you need to. All right, let's bring the arms behind the head this time. Elbows are nice and wide. And we'll do one chest lift as we lift the feet off the floor as well. So like this on the exhale. And then inhale to come down. Exhale to bring the, the feet up to the side. So extend the legs, inhale, come down. All right, exhale, knees to chest. Inhale down, exhale, feet to the ceiling. And come down. So we'll do this nice and slow, three more times. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down. Uh, two more. And extend the legs. This is the last one. Inhale down. And exhale, extend the legs. Let's stay with one leg towards the chest. And then let the other one fall down toward your palate. <laughs> Parallel to the floor. So pull that leg into your chest and we'll just switch on the exhale. All right, beautiful. So make sure that you are giving yourself a little stretch as well. Really extending at the back of those knees, pulling the legs in towards the chest. Let's do five, four, three, two, one and stay with that one leg extended. Roll up to uh, to seated. Lift the chest up and then roll back down to the floor. Nice and slow. Try not to tip. Two more times. Roll up to seated. Use that exhale and come down. Last one. Roll up. And come down. All right. Find those weights again with your hands. Extend both the legs up towards the sky. You can flip your toes out and bring your heels together. Arms above the head. No. Arms straight up to the ceiling. And we'll lower everything down on the inhale. Exhale to bring it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale up. Four more, inhale, lower, exhale up, three, exhale, two, last one, exhale, all right, beautiful, bring those um, weights down again, and we'll grab a hold of the opposite leg that we were working with, bring your chest up, lift your chest up, Bring that leg in and switch. All right, keep going. I hope you can feel it. I'm certainly getting nice and tired in my muscles. And we do five, four, 
three, two, one. Let's stay with that opposite leg and we'll roll up to seated. Lift the chest here, inhale, exhale, roll through the spine, coming down, nice and slow. Pull that leg in, exhale, shh, come up to seated. Lift the chest at the top, exhale, shh. Exhale again to roll up, lift the chest, beautiful, and we'll stay here on our elbows, bring your legs into your chest, give yourself a wiggle if you need to, <sighs> nice breath here, all right, let's bring those knees into the chest, lift through your chest and squeeze your shoulder blades together, we will twist here, exhale to bring them in, Inhale to lower, exhale, shh, bring in. Inhale, lower, exhale, bring them in. So make sure that your legs are a little bit away from you, not too close and you won't feel, feel much, but uh, making sure that those legs are giving the, the correct weight to the exercise. Excuse me, my words are escaping me. We'll do one more on each side. And this is the last one. All right, this time one leg extends up and one parallel to the floor. And bring them in again. So you see how I don't have my uh, knees all the way to the chest, but they are in tabletop like so. So I can feel it in my abdomen here as well. And open up. And in. Inhale, extend, exhale. You can actually uh, have your own breath pattern here. It's not super important. Let's do three more. And two, and three, one more, and then turn out your, your legs. The bottom leg is coming up, crossing in front, crossing back, and down. Exhale, up, and cross, and cross, and down. Exhale, up. Make sure to really extend those legs. It actually makes it less heavy if you have a full extension, funny enough, <laughs> it feels like it's not going to be easier, but it actually is if you get used to it. And exhale, shh, and switch, and switch, and down, last one, exhale up, and switch, and switch, and down, and let's just switch the legs and do the same on the other side. So up, switch, switch, down, and exhale, shh. Switch, switch, down, exhale, shh. switch, switch, down, shh. and switch, and switch, down, two more, shh. all right, beautiful, let's just do the switches, just to finish this off, and you can bring the legs down, Towards the floor for an extra challenge. And up again. Let's do three more of these. Bring them down. And up. Make sure to have a clean movement, although we are getting tired. Last one. And up. All right, beautiful. Bring the legs down. And we'll come over to one side. Just bring the, the weights to the front of the mat for later on and now make sure to come down onto your side i like to rest my head in my hands like so and we'll find a climb position zigzagging the legs and bring so either you can uh, rest this top arm on the on the mat excuse me have it down on the side or for a challenge, you'll bring it behind your head like so. Lift the feet off the floor, exhale to open, inhale, close. 
and we have five and four and three and two and one let's open up the pulse ten nine eight seven six five four three two one ten more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten extend the top leg bend the bottom leg flex the foot and you'll kick your leg twice in front of you kick kick and then extend on the inhale so make sure that your upper body is laying still and if you can you will kick a little bit behind you i don't know if you can see but kick in front of you and then inhale to extend behind you if you can exhale kick kick inhale expand make sure to push the floor through that opposite leg that is really giving you support and kick kick extend let's do one more kick kick and extend beautiful stay here to make circles so you can make small circles starting from the hip socket try to make a perfectly round circle and try to keep your knee facing forward so we're not rotating out opposite direction three two and one and now bring your um, both your legs extended you can come all the way down on the mat with your head and on the exhale we'll lift the feet or the, the legs off the floor inhale down exhale lift inhale down exhale inhale down exhale lift inhale down three more exhale inhale exhale inhale and exhale inhale down come up onto your elbow and extend your top arm above your head like so and on the exhale we will turn on our hip and we'll lift the legs up towards the ceiling right inhale to lower slowly roll on your hip very slowly and extend so i'm saying roll but we're not giving momentum we're controlling all the way through so exhale bring those legs up inhale down and i roll on to my bottom hip here full extension exhale again inhale down and roll and extend three more in exhale inhale come down and roll extend only two more and down and roll and extend last one will stay up here you can grab your top leg if you want to or you can just stay here rotate your feet out and we'll lower the bottom leg and lift up so lower exhale eight more and seven and six and five four make sure you're feeling it on the inside of the bottom leg two and one beautiful everything together extend open up and relax let's just push ourselves up give yourself a little stretch on the side and coming up one more time a little stretch on the side and come back up pull it over and let's repeat all of that to the other side so find your zigzag position and rest your 
head in your hands if you prefer that. And then lift your feet off the floor, nice and pointed. Exhale to open up. Inhale down. Exhale open. Inhale close. Four. And three. And two. And one. Then we'll open up to pulse for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Extend the top leg, flex the foot knees, pointing forward, kick, kick on the exhale. Inhale, expand behind the body if you can. Exhale, kick, kick. Inhale, expand. Try to keep that leg on the same level. So a few centimeters off the floor. It's not moving up and down in space. Just forward and behind you. Let's do three more. through your elbows if you are up on your elbow and this is the last one extend point your foot make sure again that you're not turning that leg out and make some small circles so one of your hips might be more problematic than the other just pay attention to that you want to slow down the movement if you feel like you don't have good control, if you're not able to tell your leg to move in a circle, but it's kind of just jumping around other way or let's say invert the circle. And three, two, one, extend both the legs, come all the way down to the floor. And on the exhale, lift the legs off the floor. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. So we're working the obliques. It's the abdomen that's pulling the leg off the floor. Three more. And two. And three. Come up onto your elbow, extend the top arm away from you above the head. On the exhale, rotate back and lift the legs up and inhale, come down and open up. All right, you got this five. Four. Only two more. And this will be the last one. We'll come up on the exhale and stay here. Grab a hold of the top leg. The other leg comes down to the floor. Rotate your uh, legs out and you turn off. Exhale up. Inhale down. And we have nine. And that. And eight. Down, seven, down, exhale up, and now we're halfway, five, four, make sure to extend, only two more, and this is the last one, and then everything together, coming down, and full extension, and relax. Push yourself up to the side. And we'll do a little bit of a side bend here. 
Release those obliques. Elongate the side of your body. One more time. Okay, beautiful. Let's lay down onto our belly and do a little sequence for the back and for the arms. Again, you can choose to do this with the weights or without them. That is really up to you. Begin by extending the arms along the floor over your head. So you can rest your uh, forehead to the floor if you want to. I'll just stay up here so that you can hear me better. Um, I'll gather my legs behind me, extending through, uh, through the knee, <laughs> pushing my hip a little bit into the floor here. And on the exhale, I'm lift one arm up above the head. My thumb is pointing up here and come down. Other side, lift it up and down. So make sure that you're engaging in between your scapulas here, relaxing your neck. Exhale, up and down. Other side and down. We have four. And three. Make sure that your chin is in towards your chest. Two. And last repetition. One on each side. All right, beautiful. This time on the inhale, lift your chest and bring your elbows to your chest. Exhale. Exhale to extend away from you. Inhale to lift up. So moving parallel to the floor along the floor here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, extend slowly, slowly, slowly. Only two more. Inhale to lift up. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. And exhale. Let's do one more. Lift up here and stay. And lift the legs off the floor. Bring them away from each other. And we'll just do some ballet taps here. Crossing over. Make sure to breathe. Chin into your chest. Chest is lifted. Elbows are into your waist. Really squeezing those shoulder blades together. Elongating through your knee. Five, four, three, two, and slowly come down. Extend the arms away from you, but out to the side. All right, we'll lift the upper body again. Lift the arms parallel to the floor and we'll make five circles going back. Two, three, four, five. Place them down and just relax. Rest your cheek on the floor. One inhale here, then come up with your chest again. Extend the arms, lift them up. Five circles in front. One, two, three, four, five. Rest the arms down. Other cheek to the floor. One inhale, exhale here. Chest comes off the floor. Extend the arms. Five circles back. And two, three, four. Five, rest the weights down, cheek to the floor, one inhale, exhale. Chest comes up, extend your arms, five circles front. And two, three, four, five, all right, rest the weights down, and come down to the mat, cheek on the floor. And we'll just do one last exercise. Come up with the chest again. Thumbs are still pointing up and I'll lift one arm at a time up and down. Come up with the arm and down. So really make sure that you're feeling it in between your shoulder blades, at the bottom of your shoulder blade. Lift up and down. Six. Five. Four. Chin to chest. Three, almost done. Two, and one, and relax. Push yourself up, 
and rest your pelvis back onto your heels, rest your forehead to the floor. We'll do three deep inhales here. On your next exhale, you can roll up through your spine, coming up to seated. Roll your shoulders up and back. One, two more. Two, and three. One arm comes across the chest, pull it out, and then pull your scapula down into your back again. Inhale, exhale, as deep as you can. One more. Release the arm, it comes out to the side of above the head, behind your head. Grab a hold of your elbow, pull it towards the opposite side, and then use your head to push your elbow back. So find a beautiful stretch at the back of your arm in the tricep, the inside of your shoulder, the shoulder socket. And release, we'll do the same on the opposite side. One arm across the chest, pull it out and then pull your scapula in and down. One more, inhale, exhale. Release the arm, swing it out. Above your head, behind your head, pull the elbow and push the elbow back. And release. Let's meet at the front of the mat or facing each other. Cross up the ankles. Extend one leg to the corner of your mat, like so. Point your foot. And then the opposite arm is reaching up diagonally over your head. Lean over that leg. And come back up. That arm stays up here, we'll do it two more times. Lean over and coming up. So you see how I'm reaching diagonally up and over. Do not collapse over your leg. Let's stay here. And come back up. Flex the foot and then turn towards that leg and reach over and come back up. So we're, we're reaching diagonally and tilting on the leg and coming back up. One more time, reach up and over. Beautiful, let's hold here. You can grab your foot, pull it towards you. Push that leg into the floor, active stretch here. And come back up to seated. Let's switch the legs. Point that foot to begin with. Arm reaches up and diagonally up and over. And come up again. Two more times. Reach up and over. And back. Reach up and over. And let's stay here for just a moment, reaching all you can. And come up again, flex that extended foot or extended leg, <laughs> turn your chest towards it, both arms up, extend up and over, tilt and over that leg, straight spine if you can, and come up. Push the back of the knee into the floor here. So tilt over, Come back up, tilt over the last time and stay, grab the foot if that serves you, pull the foot towards you, push the back of the knee into the floor, super active here, and relax. Come to front again, 
soles of the feet together. Make sure to keep your spine nice and straight. You're, you're sitting up on your sit bones. If you feel yourself falling back, then don't bring your heels closer, but rather give yourself more space to sit tall. If you can sit up tall like this, then pull your legs closer to you. Try to get your knees out. And if this is okay to you, you can even tilt over those legs. And I like to use my elbows to push those knees away from me. All right, let's stay here. Three deep inhales. Sending that breath into the abdomen. Extending the spine, long neck. One more. And on the next exhale, you'll drop your head gently and inhale to roll up to seated. Beautiful job. We will finish off class as always by inhaling the arms up above the head, reaching up, exhale to bring them down in front of you. Feel like you're just sinking into the floor without collapsing, long spine. Again, two more times. Inhale to reach up, extend through your body, honest reach here. Exhale, just kind of sink into your body. Find that groundedness. Nice and grounded. One last time. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, ground yourself. Relax. Beautiful job. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope to see you here next week as I upload one class a week on this channel. So please do subscribe, share my classes and drop me a like or a comment if you have uh, something that you liked, something that you didn't like. I really appreciate your feedback. You can also check out my website to um, book a private class with me online or in person if you are in my area. So I really hope and look forward to hearing from you. And until next time, bless you. Ciao.